Welcome back, WNST, Towson, Baltimore, and Baltimore Positive. We're taking the Maryland Crab Cake Tour back out on the road when I get back from Europa. We're going to be hopefully celebrating a little uh, football, a little World Cup 2026. We're going to be down at Slancha in Fells Point. We have in the Irish Crab Cake. Uh, we'll be doing that on the 17th. That's Friday, 2 to 5. Hopefully a lot of soccer guests. Hopefully it's a soccer celebration. All brought to you by our friends at the Maryland Lottery. Let yourself play. We'll have some Betty Boop scratch-off tickets, as well as our friends at Goodwill and our friends at Window Nation, where you buy two and you get two free. That's what they're doing all during June. I took advantage of it. You can as well. I take advantage of wise conversations and wise decisions. And I've been talking a lot about grilling. Uh, everybody knows I live downtown in a glass box for like 19 years. Now I live out in the woods and we have like a little grill. It's true. We grilled this week for the very first day. You have to wait till Memorial Day, but we grilled this week. Hannah Grady is here from Wise, not just to talk about grilling, but to talk about what should be my favorite holiday. And it's really up to my son as to whether it's my favorite holiday or not. I'm 37 years into Father's Day here. I'm waiting for him to bring the tongs and the apron over here and grill me up some meat. Hannah, how are you? Happy, uh, happy Father's Day to me. Happy spring to you. How's life? <laughs> Things good? Yeah, things are good. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure being on the uh, the pos uh, Baltimore Positive Podcast. Well, it's going to be more of a pleasure today because uh, <laughs> I'm going to find that you and I have talked tea berry ice cream. We've talked butterscotch ripple. We've talked a lot of ice cream, but I want to talk about grilling and I want to talk about Father's Day. Now, um, you know, I've got one son, sometimes Father's Day, he comes through. Sometimes he's away. I'm away. He's at the beach. It's not like a big thing in our world because we hang out all the time right so mm -hmm. but but if we were to hang out and he hasn't had this yet so i'm going to give him the gift my wife and i we wait for for the wise boneless chicken bread and it's not it's the garlic pepper can you see the garlic pepper on there it's a little i just grabbed this out of the freezer this this is the official father's day meal on my grill because i love the garlic pepper chicken so there have at it nice yeah i mean it, i mean it's always great to kind of like you know, give dad a break from the grill. And um, so what we offer for Father's Day, you know, not only do we have the custom cuts of meat, but kind of what you just showed to the camera, we also have like the pre-marinated meats. You know, if you're in a time crunch, we also have um, pre- I'm not against the barbecue. I'm not against the Southwestern spicy. I see all those rubs. This is just my favorite, the garlic pepper. It will change your life. If you get garlic pepper chicken, especially these are boneless. So my wife's not really into drumsticks and she likes more boneless. Like that's cool. But like, I like it better on the thighs, like out on the grill, sizzling up. You smell that garlic coming. Oh man. makes me want a beer. Honestly. Happy Father's yeah, Day. Honestly, yeah. yeah. I mean, those are always great for Father's Day. I mean, I think everyone always has a personal preference. For me personally, for Father's Day, we always like to get the the pre like the skewers, so you can get them in like chicken or steak. I think they also do one for shrimp as well. So By they the way, my wife said that to me. She says, you know, we could do kebabs now because we have yeah. a grill. We have a real grill. She she knows how to turn it on, like the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't I didn't mess with it. I just ate it. I, I have not tended to the grill. I haven't touched the little, I, I did have to clean the grill off. That was my penance. She's like, you know, all that garlic pepper gets kind of gets, you know, on there. You have to scrub. So I'm the official, I'm the cleaner upper. Hey, you got a tag team on something, right? Well, I would think on Father's Day. So Father's Day, what does Father's Day represent for you? Doing skewers. What else are you doing? Give me your, your little thing because I don't, damn, I lost my dad 25 years ago. So I don't have like a Father's Day thing with him, but like my son and I, we don't, we don't just get together on Father's Day just to do it the way moms and daughters do. Like Mother's Day, you miss a Mother's Day, forget it. With me, I'm more forgiving than that. How's your dad do? Good, good. Yeah, I mean, we are starting to plan everything out. He's more of like a simple guy. You know, he's like, don't go over the top for everything. I he's like your dad. See that? That's good. <laughs> he has the biggest sweet tooth. So normally you know, we'll do something for the grill, you know, if the weather's nice, but really like the big thing are, you know, candy, you know, cakes, sweet treats, or like anything with chocolate, I think he'll be happy. Get him some pineapple upside down cake uh, from Wise, because that's my favorite in the bakery. And the bakery, see, I live up like above the Joppa Road location where uh, they have a giant bakery there. 
Like mm-hmm. that's the specialty part. It's a former Mars. Uh, it's I would call it the barn location, but it's across from what used to be the barn uh, at the corner of Joppa and Harford Road. And we do yoga over that way. So I go in there and the bakery is it's twice the size of a normal wise bakery. And they have like everything, everything you could buy donuts, bagels, breads. I even saw La Brea bread in there. There's some Gucci breads and stuff. And I'm like, we're shopping at this wise a little more often because the baked goods were, were special. I mean, and I know you guys try hard on all that stuff. And we've talked about Pennsylvania Dutch stuff, stuff that I can only get in wise. I mean, I found like, um, state college stickies you, you know because, yes that's a pa staple right you get and that's part of being from wise is like you get some of that good serious pennsylvania stuff getting uh, exported down here we can pick it up right <laughs> yes absolutely everyone needs to enjoy the, like the pa sweet treat experience we don't have anything like that at college park you know what i mean like it's <laughs> if there's a penn state maryland eating thing i'm probably going to side with the regatta people up there at state college hannah grotty's here she does like all things wise for us we usually eat an ice cream together or, or drink it out of our wise tub i'm talking garlic pepper chicken here um graduation also happened and a lot of my friends have restaurants downtown they get overwhelmed in this time of year with people coming in but we're graduating from high school we're graduating college all these type of things also when i'm in wise i see that you're catering to that as well and a lot of that has to do with the same things dads right a lot of barbecuing a lot of drinks a lot of food a lot of fresh produce and delicious corns and delicious heirloom tomatoes coming in now it's nice yeah absolutely i mean we know this is that you know june is definitely a crazy month for uh families you know who have uh, you know, graduating seniors and then Father's Day is literally right around the corner. Um, so we know that we want to make this uh, time of the year extra special for every grad and dad. Um, so we offer plenty of different platters, you know, from the savory to the sweet, we have it all. We also have it in different sizes. Um, we also have pre, uh, like pre-wrapped, like freshly cut um, platters as well. Or if you kind of want to order ahead of time, if you're having a bigger party this year, uh, you can always visit our website at wisemarkets.com slash shop, or you can always visit your local Wise Markets deli department or your bakery department uh, to kind of pre-order ahead of time. Uh, the one thing I'll say about cookouts, because we don't call them barbecues here, we call them cookouts, right? Uh, mm-hmm. One thing I'll say is my we're doing it for the first time ever. I mean, so full disclosure, 19 years, we live downtown. We one of my Two of my wife's things about moving, and it had nothing to do with the city or crime or any of that crap that you see on the news, right? This was literally my wife wanted outdoor space and she wanted to have a barbecue and she really wanted to grow some vegetables and she picked up literally last night when i picked up these delicious chicken breasts that she put in the freezer that now look a little bit more edible right they look a little they they were a little frozen this morning because because they smell i mean they're garlic pepper you know you (laughs) all over the you got to lock them down in the refrigerator because they do it upright so we were leaving and outside, um, the, the wise that I'm talking now, most of the wises have this, so I don't know everyone, but we have a picnic table that doesn't have an umbrella. You guys actually sell the umbrellas. You sell the, the grills. You sell uh, charcoal. You sell lighter fluid. But also right next to that, as you're walking in, there's plants. And listen. All my life, I've never looked at a plant. You know why? I've lived inside for 20 years. Like, I couldn't plant anything. I didn't have anywhere to plant anything. So now my wife picked up fresh thyme, and it it made the whole place smell better than the garlic pepper did. Um, but my wife has picked up all sorts of um, thyme, rosemary, things to plant outside, also things to keep the mosquitoes away. There's citronella and some other things, which are big for me. I think we've talked about mosquitoes and outdoor uh, life, but the whole outdoor part of this is we, we didn't even own a grill or maybe we did own a grill, but I didn't know where it was. And my wife found it, but we didn't own charcoal. We didn't own any of that. The, the little um, gas, little things to, to make the gas grill work. Why says everything like that? And I, and it was something that I missed because I was without a grill for 20 years. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's the one thing that shocks a lot of people. You know, not only do we sell the groceries, we also sell, um, you know, everything that you just honestly listed. Well, the umbrella is the craziest thing because like it's getting hot and we have a table to sit at, but the sun's out till 830. We need an umbrella. 50 bucks there. Boom. Nine foot umbrella. I'm measuring it up and it's in red and blue and green. And yeah, like we could get any color we wanted. And I'm like, well, I'm going to talk about that on the, on the wise conversation this week because I bet a lot of people don't know that they don't about the ice cream. Yes. Yes. We definitely do that as well. Um, 
yeah, we do, we, you know, we, we offer, you know, the grill, the charcoal, the propane tanks, um, you know, outdoor accessories. And, you know, with, you know, if you want to make Father's Day extra special, we have lots as well, banners, you know, uh, you know, themed um, paper plates and cups and utensils, um, anything that you can think of to have a really nice barbecue or uh, a get together with your neighbors or a special cookout, we have it at your local Wise Markets. All right, Hannah, this is important. I, I saw, and I don't want to put you on the spot here because it's important. It's ice cream, okay? There was a <laughs> seasonal flavor that was so weird that I made my wife come back down last night. It, it was raspberry it had some mango thing in it, and it, but I was trying to look it up because I wanted the name. It was called berries and something else, but it's a seasonal flavor, and it was so uniquely unique that I felt like I needed to like maybe – I didn't pick it up because we're going away this week, but when I get back, I'm going to try it. It was like raspberry with ribbons of chocolate and mango or something. You know about this? You know what? We recently just got a list of um, some new ice cream flavors for the summer. Right. And this the is a one, summer flavor. That's what this one was. I, ha I haven't heard of that one. The one that everyone always talks about in the office, um, it's cotton candy cupcake. A lot of people in my office like the cotton candy flavored stuff. I mean, I think that's personally a little too sweet for me. Um, I've also heard- You're a tea berry girl. I'm a tea berry girl. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, we have like a chocolate malt one that's coming out. So if like, you're a big fan I of saw that. I saw, I saw that, that chocolate malt. I didn't pick it yes. up, but I saw it. Yep. Yes. We have that. I can't think of the rest. I mean, those are the two that everyone's been talking about in the office recently. I know we kind of, we were talking about, um, these new summer flavors within the past month. I know that, um, the majority of the flavors are out right now since summer's around the corner. Um, but no, I've, I've never heard of that one before. No, there's a red, white, and blue that is yes. sort of a blueberry raspberry. I got that one last year for 4th of July. Cause I thought that'd be kind of fun. This one is it's different. It's raspberry based with chocolate and mango. I don't, I, I, I don't, I'm going to get it and I'm going to, you're on next month. I'll hold it up and we'll eat it together and we'll see if we like it better than tea berry, which is birch beer, by the way. Tea berry is birch beer. Hey, I mean, tea berry is always like a difficult flavor to kind of point out. So, Once hey, you whatever you say, I'll agree. <laughs> Once you get past the pink, you're fine. It's all good. Hannah Grady is here. She does all things wise markets and uh, spokespersoning. And sometimes you hear her in the commercials. Maybe you don't know it, but sometimes you do. It's always good to visit with you. Happy summer to you. And uh, uh, there is a rumor that I'm coming up to the ice cream facility at some point in August. We're working on production schedule. I'm working on the crab cake tour. What I'm going to do is I'm going to detour on the crab cake tour up into Pennsylvania for a day. And I'm going to make it part of the crab cake tour. Probably eat the signature crab cake as well. Yeah, absolutely. That's a wise conversation. And I appreciate you. Have a great summer, all right? Thanks, you too. Next time we get together, I'll have that weird raspberry chocolate mango it wasn't a sorbet it was ice cream it was legit so i'm gonna have to get the right flavor it was called i'm gonna look it up i'll find out i'll report back next week in our next wise conversation we'll leave it dangling <laughs> i am nestor we are wnstam 1570 crab cakes and ice cream and summer conversations stay with us at baltimorepositive.com